What does the digital classroom of the 21st century look like? What is the role of the teacher? What's the role of the student? What type of learning experiences do we provide our students? How do we personalize the learning process so that all of our students are successful in a rapidly changing global society? How do we expand innovation beyond the classroom to a system-wide level? As a district, Cajon Valley has a strong history of technology integration and classroom innovation. Dedicated, creative teachers in our district are leading the way in our efforts to combine best practices in pedagogy with cutting-edge technology. I use technology in my classroom to create a blended learning environment where students are not only learning from what's out there in the technology world, but using those devices to help them learn and learning with other students. And that power of connections is what really enhances the learning and teaches them that it's not just them, it's not just a teacher in the classroom, it's really learning from the entire world. In my math class we use technology, we use the iPods to film mini lessons and then the students upload them to our class website as kind of like a mini Khan Academy. When they have the ability to use the technology in the classroom, uh, it sets a purpose for any activity that they're doing, especially when they know there's going to be an audience. And they deepen their understanding about that content when they're reviewing it multiple times. It's multiple exposures to that same content and so it's really solidifying their knowledge about that content. We use Edmodo to facilitate student discussions in all academic areas. As an online community space, Edmodo allows every student to have voice, practice their writing, and critique their peers. And I can monitor it all in real time. I use technology to give my students voice and choice. It allows me to create real-world situations in which they practice their communication skills. That, to me, is the power of technology. It's not about the tool, it's about the learning. As a writing teacher, when I choose an app, I ask myself, does this promote writing and communication with my students? Based on what I want my students to learn, we use a variety of apps and tools to accomplish those goals. Because of these technology tools, teachers across the district are being more targeted with their differentiation of instruction. They're getting better immediate feedback on what students know and are able to do. They're seeing increased student engagement and they're getting better academic results. Can you put 21st century technology into the hands of students, deeper learning occurs. So it doesn't matter if I'm a brand new refugee to the country or I'm a proficient English speaker. When I have devices in a classroom and students are using them and teachers are guiding them, then it really becomes a great equalizer because everyone can work at their own pace and get their own needs met. I have really seen students more conscious about their learning and really taking ownership of what they're actually doing and creating. Just having students who are proficient with technology and the skills that come along with it, the responsibilities that come along with it, it's super important. I mean, as you look into the future and you have careers that are gonna be a heavy focus on technology, how can we deprive our kids of opportunities to become familiar with those tools? Putting a kid on a computer, putting a device in their hand is not going to make them successful. Instead, it's the types of learning experiences they do with and through technology that leads them to success. We want them to be more than just consumers of the media. We want them to be creators and curators of the media. These types of technology-driven learning experiences are perfectly aligned with the new, more rigorous expectations of the Common Core. Students will now be required to communicate and collaborate on tasks, as well as demonstrate their learning in creative ways. With the advent of Common Core and technology, we have both the need and the opportunity to transform the learning process and ensure the success of all students. Cajon Valley is poised to become a model 21st century digital district. In order to do this, we need to work together, share new ideas and fresh perspectives, and foster innovation so that these learning experiences happen in every classroom for each and every student.